think uh, that uh, it was a remarkable year for the state as well as for the banking sector. Uh, I don't have to remind you that we had COVID, uh, we had political upheavals, we had uh, the 24th of uh, February, and that in a consequence, of course, had uh, enormous repercussions on steering the, uh, the country politically as well as economically. I think uh, is the most important statement in, in the context of your question is actually uh, the monetary policy of the central bank. Uh, the central bank as such uh, has managed uh, the, the funding, uh, the risk, uh, that means the, the general uh, economic environment I would say more or less perfectly. Uh, the key issue, of course, has been the high inflation uh, that uh, has automatically required uh, measures by them, fast measures, what they have been introducing. I mean, they have introduced uh, the rise of the mandatory reserves uh, uh, up to 40% for local currency, 45% for uh, foreign exchange. So that was a huge move uh, in the market with a lot of consequences, of course. I mean, the key measures that they have been taken was to take out liquidity of the markets, of the banking sector, that automatically led to uh, a decrease even in lending in comparison to, to, to the previous years. Uh, and that was the two measures. So it has been on one side the mandatory reserves and then on the other side, the capital adequacy ratios, what, what that will be coming to. So by these two measures, they reduced the liquidity and have been fighting successfully. So uh, uh, the inflation, which you can see already now in the first months, so I think it started already last uh, December, uh, that uh, inf inflationary movements were coming down. Uh, so that was one side. So I have really to re-emphasize that the central bank reacted very fast and properly. Uh, and the reaction of the banks was equally professional. Uh, uh, they have followed the advice of the central bank, they have limited the lending activities, uh, they have invested in government bonds, uh, that means helping the government to take out liquidity from the market. And that in line had very positive uh, uh, consequences for the banking sector as such. Uh, they have increased their profitability, uh, they have increased uh, uh, dramatically also the asset base by 10% uh, from uh, in comparison to 2021. Um, so all in all, it, one may say it was a very positive year both uh, for the economy of the country in a very difficult environment and in a consequence also for the banks uh, handling these difficulties more or less in a very professional manner. <music> Old income bank um, uh, definitely is a, is a high flyer, was a high flyer, uh, but the performance uh, is concerned uh, last year. Uh, and there are many aspects uh, where I can prove that or what I really want to indicate uh, uh, as an example. Uh, first, I would say we have uh, increased uh, 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 consumer loans, so consumer lending uh, uh, for the broad public uh, uh, by, I think, almost uh, uh, 54 million lei, um, which I think is a significant amount. And uh, uh, our market share growth in this segment uh, of the business uh, was uh, also remarkable and we are here our number one uh, uh, lender with uh, 28 percent uh, uh, for uh, of the past year. Uh, I think what I really want to mention here specifically is that uh, we have helped uh, 7,000 families in uh, the country uh, to finance their homes. That means we help them to, in, in, to start with their investment uh, in order to get a, a new home. We have uh, been the first bank in Moldova reaching uh, uh, 1 million cards. Uh, so we are by far a market leader 
uh, in, in the current business with 37% over uh, roughly, which is uh, also uh, in the same line, a bank that really cares for the needs of uh, the, the public. Uh, we have launched Google Pay, we have launched Apple Pay, we have uh, introduced online credit applications to make it easy uh, really to start uh, uh, and get your necessary liquidity for various reasons. And finally, we have, uh, coming back to the card business, we have uh, launched Instant Card, uh, the Instant Card to make it uh, uh, easy and faster for the customers to get their card. So there uh, were a lot of things that has happened and in a result, the bank has launched the best ever. Uh, at the same time, we have hardly increased our non-performing loan, so it is a very solid result. It's not only a high figure, and, uh, uh, per, uh, and with a large number of non-performing, just the opposite. So the bank is very secure. Uh, we have also increased our capital ratios tremendously. We are highly overcapitalized. Uh, we have a, a, a extremely attractive cost income ratio, so the bank is still very cost conscious with about over 40%, which is remarkable because usually we are talking with regards to cost income ratio of roughly 50% or slightly below 50%. So all in all, high capitalization, low loss rates, uh, high liquidity, uh, the bank is very solid. Uh, is prepared more or less uh, uh, to other uh, strikes uh, of the market uh, and needs of the customer. Then I believe that the policy of the bank, being very close to the customer, very service oriented, find out what the customer needs, react with creation of products, introduction of products, helping the customer in his daily life, corporates in their ways, how they are conducting uh, their business, exports, imports, local investments, what have you. This is what we stand for. I mean, uh, the sector as such uh, has uh, improved the workforce uh, in the last year, by the way, by almost, uh, uh, I think, uh, uh, 300 people. So we have, uh, 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 about 8,500 people working in the banking industry uh, uh, last year. That's substantial uh, for that relatively small market we are talking about. So this is, uh, uh, that is uh, most important. And uh, I think uh, all, all, all I want to say for us, uh, for the employees, uh, for the board, uh, for the supervisory board, and for the shareholders, don't give up that uh, a straightforward uh, 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 viewing of the customer's interest. I ought to, to thank all of you. Uh, I want to thank uh, each and every one of the employees uh, because our success is the result of the work of anyone and everyone uh, in the institution. And I'm very happy uh, to devote my thanks uh, to the uh, entire stuff of uh, more than come back. Thank you very much. A relatively uncertain world economic environment that doesn't mean bad, but uncertain. And uncertainty usually is difficult to make assessments for your policy. So also more than come back has to assess its policy and decide on its policy on assumptions, certain assumptions. We generally speaking believe that the market will slightly improve, so we have a positive viewing uh, of uh, the future development as such. And I think I mentioned certain indications with regards to the uh, uh, inflationary movements that, uh, uh, that have started. Um, how do I see the evolution? Uh, I think that the first and foremost statement I want to make uh, is that this year, 2023, is a year of change. The first and foremost task what I see uh, for us, all of us, is we have to build 
for the future. So, uh, and I want to be very frank uh, because uh, I sometimes get the feeling that uh, some of the staff members uh, are seeing that uh, transformation process that is going on for the last one and a half years more as a process for IT. No, it is a process for the entire bank. So if you're asking what is most important for this year, profitability or building the bank for the future, my answer is building the bank for the future. The earlier we do that, the better we do that, the better we will be off in the future. Mind you, uh, Moldova, or the banking sector is concerned, is a highly concentrated market. The four largest banks dispose of a market share of about 80 over percent. 80 percent is divided between the four largest banks. Uh, that means an enormous competition. And uh, therefore, specifically when you see the movements and the developments that is going on in international banking, it is mobile, it is internet banking, it's uh, telephone banking, it is system-oriented banking as such. And here we still have to make a quantum leap. This quantum leap we have to make this year, 2023. Uh, having said that, uh, building the bank is building the future. Thank <laughs> you.